We are doing the grade 11 November 2020 exemplar for CAT paper one, the practical. And this is from the Department of Education for the Eastern Cape. And we have done question one. We're now going to move on to question two, which is another version of the word processing question. So here we've got the question two. It's also word processing. And so we must open up the document called to form, which I have opened already for us. And it says we must find the word art heading Wild Coast Trip and transform it into a warped or wrapped ring inside. So let's go. So they, there's the, 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 the art that they want, the word art. And they want us to warp ring inside, transform, warp, wrap inside. So I'm going to click on it and we're going to come to the shape format and see what options we have available. Um, I've got a feeling that something, I don't see anything here with styles. I think it's an effect. So let's just try to see the shape effect. Um, there's nothing there about transform. Maybe it's got to do with the text effect. Did they say text effect? Transform it to bring it inside. Let's click on the text effect. Oh, there's the word transform. So th they will give you words and th those words will be available in words somewhere. So you'll know where you're on the right track. So transform it. We look like we're on the right track and wrapped ring inside. That's what we're looking for. So if I come here to here, yeah, transform. The, oh, there's warp ring inside so let's find i think it's a, there's a ring ring inside there we go there's two rings that's the one we want so i want to click into that one there we go so warped ring inside there we go we transformed it fantastic so we saw those particular words so we know we're on the right track then we must add a picture in the examination folder and use the word the processor to group the picture and the word art together so i'm assuming we're going to want to put the picture somewhere at the top here so we're going to come here to insert picture um, and we want to insert it, not from this device, but, uh, oh, this from this device. We don't want to go online. So we're going to go there. So I'm in my folder. So we want that particular one, form2.jpg. If not, you can obviously browse to your exam folder to go get it. We're going to insert it and see what it does. So there it is. Okay. Um, they don't tell me any other specifications about what we need to do with this. It's also obviously messing up with everything. So I'm actually, I'm just going to manually do some stuff here where I'm going to actually, I'm going to just, make it i don't think you need to do this but i'm doing this because i would prefer to do it so i can have some space and we want to group the two things we want them to they say have a feature that groups them which is the feature is called group so i'm going to click on the one picture and i'm going to try press control and click on the other one control shift sorry if i press shift and i select both of them i press shift down click, there, click on one hold shift and click on the other now you've got both of them selected and now you right click and there should be a group option and there we go we can group it so now it's one picture that can be moved together as one and if you ever want to ungroup it you can just go group ungroup and stuff like that so there we go so that's done fantastic now let's go insert a page background so we want a vertical gradient full effect with blue and white color so page background vertical gradient full remember that vertical gradient full so that would be something to do with the design of the page so there's page color fantastic we want a vertical gradient fill so let's try full effects and we got all these full we want a gradient fill effect but we want two colors so i'm going to click on two colors because we want blue and uh, white and we want a vertical one so we want a vertical one they don't tell me which one so let's just go with the default and we want white and blue they said hey white blue and white colors i don't know if they said that in the right order so let's let's do it the order they want so there's blue so i'm going to put blue and i'm going to make the second one white i don't think that they'll penalize you if you did it in the other way but i'm just going according to what they say blue to white so i'm just going to do that and is that all that seems like it's all so let's go and click on okay boom and there we go got a vertical effect is that right eh? yeah so we did do, just double check full effects so a vertical fill effect. There we go. So we did select all our right options. So next, vertical gradient effects. So now we must insert a watermark, that picture as a watermark, and the scaling must be 120%. So we're going to insert a watermark. We're on the right place here under design because there's watermark. And we're going to insert a custom watermark. Now, doesn't let me select it because I've got this thing selected. So let's click away from the picture. Now I can, oh, there we go. Now I can select custom watermark. And we want a picture. So we're going to select a picture. Um, we're going to work offline. We're going to go fetch the picture from ooh, the watermark picture. It's right there in the exam folder. And we want the scaling to be 120. So I'm just, there's no 120 option. 
So I'm just going to type in 120 and see what it does. Okay. Let's try it. And so there is a picture there. Let's just double check it quickly. Custom watermark. So there we go. It did do 120%. So it does done, has done that all. So let's go. So there we go. So there's my 120% picture. That's very difficult to see. But it's what they wanted. So we just gave it to them. Then we must set tabs to the surname. So we're going to go here to the set tabs to the surname of the form field, form control. So let's go look at it. So here we are at the surname. We want to select the surname because we want the tabs to be on the surname. And I'm going to come here to paragraph and we can come here to tabs over here. So we can come here to tabs and there we can see all the details of the tabs. Now they don't specify which type of tabs, like left or right or center or decimal, but they do say they want one at six centimeters and one at 14. Okay, so there we go. So we know that. So I'm going to click here. So we want to type in a six for six centimeters. If they said left, center or leaders, we could do that here, but we want one at six centimeters. Boom. So there's a six centimeter tab and we want one at 14. So I'm going to type in 14 now and set that one as a new one. If you ever want to change one of them, you can always just click on it and either clear it or add a new one or stuff like that or edit it like that. Okay. So there we go. I've got my two tabs. I'm going to click OK. Boom. And on this line, you'll see there's a tab over there and there's a tab over there. Now I've got a funny feeling that we want this tab this little one to go to the second tab so it's like that okay now it doesn't look very much in line i've got a funny feeling that should have been a right tab so i'm going to just go back to the tabs i'm going to go back to the tabs for this line Boom. and on that 14 centimeter one i'm just going to change it to a to a right tab let's change it to a right tab and set it okay and there we go so there, there we go it looks a little bit better there so it's nice in line so there we go so it's a right tab Okay, they didn't specify that, but we're going to make it as a right tab. Okay, um, but there we go. And let's go to the next. They don't actually specify what they must be. Okay, but there we go. So we, it's quite tricky that, that they asked us to assume that. But you, visually, you can see that it should have been a right tab by changing it. Okay, so then we must format the form controls. The surname text form field must be a maximum length of 20 characters. So on that surname, I'm when in doubt, just right click. I'm going to right click on it and there are the properties. And we must set the maximum length to 20 characters. So I'm going to change it to a 20. Okay. So there we go. That's the first one done. Boom. You can do always double check by going back to it and go and check properties. Yay, it's 20 centimeters. That was literally it. Easy one mark. Now the gender form field must be changed to a drop down form field and male and female must be added to the drop down list. Okay, so now this one at the moment, if you right click on here and you go properties, you can see this is not a drop down list option and there's no option I can see here to change it. So I'm actually going to remove it. I'm going to delete it. And now I want to add a form field. Now, where are these controls? These are in the developer tab. You can see my developer tab is already available. If yours isn't, you can just come to anywhere on the ribbon over here and right click on any blank spot where you can customize your ribbon and if you customize your ribbon a little box will pop up make sure that the developer tab is ticked make sure that it's ticked if it's not ticked you're not going to have option to access these controls so whenever you're doing this you can go right click here anywhere in the blank spot and customize your ribbon and go make sure that the developer tag the tab is selected so we got developer tab and we want to add a control none of these we want these are legacy form controls so i'm going to click on the legacy tools the legacy tools the legacy forms we want the drop down the drop down the drop oh there's a drop down i'm going to click on the drop down there's my drop down and they want me to add a drop down and I want male and female as options so i'm going to right click on it when in doubt right click not on, not on the first name on gender and go to properties did I just do the wrong one? I think I did the wrong one. Let's go undo, undo, undo. Yeah, I did it on the first name, Miss Long. That's silly. So we're going to delete this one. Sorry, my bad. Well done for picking that up. If you did pick it up, I'm going to insert the drop down on the gender one. There we go. And right click properties on this one. We're going to add male and female. Male add and female add. Is that the order they wanted? Did they specify order? No, they don't. But that's the list that they gave me. So there we go. And okay, so there's male and female added to the list. And then the last question, the checkbox form field must be set to 14 points exactly. 
and the BNB form must be checked or ticked. Now there are two of them. They don't actually specify which one must be changed. So I'm just going to change them both. So I'm going to change the when in doubt right click properties. I'm going to set it to exactly 14 points. And that changes that one, but doesn't change the other one. So I'm just change both of them. I don't, they don't specify that. They're not very clear on that. But just in case, I'm actually going to do both of them. So they're both 14 fields, just in case. And they want this BNB one to be checked. So if I right click on the properties, and oh, we want it to be checked. Check this out. Checked. There we go. It's got a checked in front of it. There we go. So there we go. So we did those form controls. So when in doubt, with, especially with form controls, just right click on the form control and you can change the properties. And if you want to insert them, make sure that the developer tag or tab is available. And you can, as I said, you can get it by right clicking somewhere on a blank spot of the, the ribbon. Customize your ribbon. Make sure that the developer thing is ticked there. That tab must be ticked. Okay. So there we go. Is that all the questions? There we go. That's question. That's all the word for now. We'll move on to the Excel in the next video. Look in the description of the YouTube video to find links to the other videos and data files of this exam paper and leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe. We'd love to hear from you. And remember, don't do it the long way, do it the Mr. Long way.